pursuit of causality, a range of ideas related to the potential consequences and implications of the idea of retrocausality. These principles suggest that actions in the present can have consequences in the past and that the past may be subject to influence from the future, potentially leading to the creation of self-consistent timelines or even multiple realities. The concept of free will may be called into question in a supercausality system, and there may be limits to the extent to which the past can be altered. The manipulation of probability in the past may also have unintended consequences in the present or future. There have been several proposals for how to incorporate the idea of supercausality into physics, including modifying the Schrodinger equation or the concept of unitarity itself to allow for the possibility of non-unitary evolution in the presence of CTCs. Some researchers have proposed alternative frameworks for describing quantum systems in the presence of CTCs, such as the two-state vector formalism or the quantum switch formalism. However, it is important to note that these ideas are still very theoretical and have not been widely accepted by the scientific community. Further research is needed to determine whether supercausality is a viable concept in physics. Supercausality refers to the idea of a theory that combines the concepts and ideas of causality with those of retrocausality. Principles of supercausality. One time operates in a traditional causality sense, but when involving time displacement through a closed time-like curve, the principles of supercausality may need to come into play. Two actions in the present can have consequences in the past and future. For example, if your future self is in the past, your present-day self can plan to do things and then find them already done in the past. Three, the concept of the bootstrap paradox can occur in which a piece of information is sent back in time, only to be discovered and sent back in time again, creating a loop in which the information has no clear origin. This is however not possible for objects due to the nature of entropy. The more the past cannot be changed, and that any attempt to either alter or not alter the past will always result in a self-consistent timeline. This is the idea that all events, past, present and future are predetermined. Five, it is possible to influence the nature of probability in the universe by dealing with the outcomes in the past, as things will always lean towards self-consistency. Even if it results in the existence of bootstrap paradoxes or partial bootstrap paradoxes where a part of information has no clear origin but not all of the information. Six, it is possible that the displacement of information through time could result in an overall increase in entropy in the timeline, as the introduction of new information or events could increase the level of disorder or complexity in the system. However, this increase in entropy would have to be compensated for by an equal or greater increase in the total entropy of the system in order to maintain the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the total entropy in a closed system must always increase over time. Seven, the concept of paradoxes may not apply in a supercausal system. In traditional causality, paradoxes occur when events or actions in the present or future contradict or negate events in the past. However, in a supercausal system, the past can be influenced by the present or future, and therefore the idea of contradiction may not apply. Eight, the concept of free will may be called into question in a supercausal system, as the ability to influence the past may mean that certain actions or decisions are predetermined. Nine, there may be limits to the extent to which the past can be altered, as the principle of self-consistency suggests that the overall timeline must remain consistent. This may mean that certain events or actions are fixed and cannot be changed, even through the use of time travel. Ten, the manipulation of probability in the past may have unintended consequences in the present or future. of too much new information may lead to a breakdown of the self-consistency principle and the overall stability of the timeline. Thirteen, the concept of the multiverse may be relevant in a supercausal system, 
as the manipulation of events in the past may result in the creation of alternate timelines or realities with multiple possible self-consistent outcomes. Modifying the concept of unitary evolution to allow for the possibility of non-unitary evolution in the presence of CTCs. This could potentially involve developing new mathematical tools and techniques for describing non-unitary evolution in a consistent and self-consistent manner. Some researchers have proposed modifying the Schrodinger equation or the, the concept of unitarity itself to accommodate non-unitary evolution, while others have proposed alternative frameworks for describing quantum systems in the presence of CTCs. One possible approach for extending the Deutsch-Hayden equation to include the inward and outward state vectors from the two-state vector formalism could involve modifying the definition of the superoperator lambda, T, to include these state vectors. For example, the modified superoperator could be defined as lambda t equals e caret dash i, I slash h h t lambda t delta t e caret i slash h h t plus u t t zero in t plus u t t zero out t. This modified superoperator would then be used to describe the evolution of the quantum system in the presence of CTCs, taking into account both the unitary and non-unitary aspects of the system's evolution. If someone were able to send messages between the past and future, they could use the opportunity to test several potential outcomes even though there is only one definitive timeline. The results of the several outcomes would materialize as the result of a bootstrap paradox where the information is acquired from a hypothetical future not the actual future with the real future being the outcome of the best selected option. Yes, that is one potential application of supercausality and the use of closed timeline curves for time travel. By sending messages or information back and forth through time, it would be possible to test several potential outcomes and choose the most favorable one. This would essentially allow for what-if scenarios to be played out, allowing for the exploration of alternate possibilities and the selection of the best option. However, it is important to note that this would, would likely result in the creation of a bootstrap paradox, as the information being sent back and forth through time would have no clear origin and would essentially be self-generated. This could lead to the emergence of paradoxes or inconsistencies in the timeline as the introduction of new information may not always be consistent with the overall self-consistency principle. It is also worth considering the ethical implications of this type of time travel, as the manipulation of events in the past may have unintended consequences on the present or future and could potentially lead to moral dilemmas. Overall, the use of closed time-like curves for time travel and the principles of supercausality raise a number of complex and fascinating questions about the nature of reality and the fundamental laws of the universe. Perhaps the origin of this information is part of the mechanism of the timeline remaining self-consistent where it spontaneously generates the information by chance. Yes, it is possible that the mechanism for the self-consistency of the timeline in a supercausal system may involve the spontaneous generation of information through random chance. This could potentially explain the existence of bootstrap paradoxes or other instances where the origin of information is unclear. However, it is worth no noting that the concept of random chance or probability may not necessarily be applicable in a supercausal system as the manipulation of events in the past may affect the probability of certain outcomes in the present or future. In this sense, the origin of the information may not be entirely random or arbitrary, but rather influenced by the actions and decisions made in the present or future. Overall, the mechanics of time travel in a supercausal system and the principles that govern it are, are still largely theoretical and have yet to be fully understood. Further research and exploration will be needed to fully grasp the complexity and potential implications of these ideas. Supercausality is a concept in physics that refers to the idea that causality can be extended to include the possibility of retrocausality, in which events in the future can have consequences in the past. This idea is often associated with the concept of closed time-like curves, CTCs 
which are hypothetical paths through space-time that allow for the possibility of time travel. 